Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am scrapbooking with my lovely leftovers. Now you guys, I thought lovely leftovers was going to be a series that I did on Sundays, you know, using my scraps from the week. But honestly, my room is atrocious and this pile is getting very piley and the room is a wreck. So I need to use these up so I can uh, clean up my room and start fresh tomorrow. So let's see what I can do. All right, so I have this pile of leftovers and then I have this one that I cut a floral out of. Now this border strip, I just decided this is where we are gonna start, you guys. We're gonna put this border strip down. We're going to make it happen. And then I saw that beautiful purple on the other side and I was like, I'm gonna use the purple. And then as soon as I put the adhesive down, I was like, no, 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 you're not using the purple. You're using this side. Now, I don't know if you saw, but you could roll off the ATG tape. It's the off-brand ATG tape. I get it from Tape Jungle or Tape Depot. Um, but you can roll it and it kind of makes tape boogies, like they're little glue boogies. All I can say is that you do not want to let those little glue boogies uh, get into your carpet uh, because they eventually do kind of stick to the carpet and doesn't want to come out of the carpet and then you have to trim the carpet with your scissors so not a fun time uh, in my dream scrapbook room I do have hard surface floors definitely not carpet definitely not um, I don't even want tile uh, because I don't want stuff getting into the grout and staining it. That just seems to be a nightmare to me. Okay, so as you can see, I still got that purple on my layout because I had another little strip and I didn't bother with cutting off the strip where it was uneven, where I had fussy cut something out of it. I just covered it up with another little lovely leftover. So you might look at this and think that these colors really don't go together. Uh, some are bright, some are muted. Uh, some are distressed and some are not. But you know what? When you mix everything together, it kind of just works. It kind of just works. Uh, unless you think this is a mess and then it doesn't work for you. So then you only use grungy papers or you only use bright and clean papers. Like whatever, whatever works for you. So I do have uh, these layers right here, and my original thought was to just create a whole bunch of these vertical stripes all the way across the layout, uh, but then I decided I was kind of over it, and I decided to make a horizontal uh, stripe. This is that shelf, that table, that resting area, whatever uh, you want to call it, for my photo to sit on. Now I'm going to do something that uh, I don't do. Um, I'm leaving my photo unmatted and popped up, which is something I just don't normally do. But I figured there was so much going on in this layout. There were so many things to look at. There was just, there was just a lot that the photo just really didn't need anything else. It's just like it's there. When you look at the layout, you see the, like the busyness on one side, but then your eye kind of goes straight over to that big hunk of white space and then it sees the photo. Uh, at least my eye does. Hopefully your eye does that as well and you're not looking at me going, Sandy, you crazy cuckoo kachoo you. <laughs> like it just doesn't, it doesn't do what you think it does. Um, so hopefully it does. Now, I do trim down um, some of the paper just a little bit um, because I... I didn't want to have all the same width. I wanted different ones uh, because that really does add the interest to your page. But for the most part, uh, you know, I'm using the leftovers in the way that they were cut. Um, I do go into my labels a little bit and I decide to really embrace the labels that are already pre-printed on that Vicki Booten Storyteller paper and just go ahead and add some. Now, all of these labels aren't gonna have something uh, written in them, uh, although there is one label where I try my hardest to find something to fit in there, but it just doesn't fit. Um, and that's okay, that, that kind of stuff happens. Like it's not, it's not a big deal. Um, I wouldn't, you know, I'm not gonna stress about it. It's, it's not a thing. So, I have no idea what I'm off doing right now. 
what am I off doing right now? Oh, I was looking for some fun things to put onto uh, the layout. I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to go with embellishing this. Um, it just, I kind of felt like there was a lot going on um, and there, it really didn't need a lot of embellishing. Uh, it just need a, just a little bit. Uh, so I do keep trying to pull this cork arrow in because I think it's cute. Like the size of it, the scale, the, you know, the corkiness, because, you know, I'm a cork fan. Um, I try again later and it, it still doesn't make it onto the layout. So at first I was thinking about, um, I love your smile. Uh, and then I was like, well, maybe I'll put it this way. And then everything I was trying, I just... I really didn't like it so I decided to nix the big old love and then I'm going to uh, just trim off smile and that way I can kind of like try it out around the page and see where I want it so I don't know why I didn't just do that to begin with but instead I start pulling off stars now there are pre-printed stars on some of these papers and I cover up the large one over by the label um, and then I don't even notice the two smaller ones uh, down further. Like, I, guys, I don't even see them. I don't notice them. They're just not even registering. Um, so I am trying to figure out, do I want the smile to go in this hunk of white space? And I'm like, no, I don't. I, I don't. So I decide to bring the stars uh, over to the right-hand side of the page. I'm thinking picture perfect smile will well that'll work like that's that's a good title everything is gonna go well for that um, so I'm going to uh, adhere these down now these are from jelly bean soup jelly bean soup is around but not around as a scrapbooking company um, they still do like designs and stuff on the silhouette store but this this stuff they are not selling anymore um, I did pull them out of my Kill a Kit with Style. Um, if you haven't seen my Kill a Kit with Style videos for this month, that is November 2020, I started out with a bunch of papers um, from companies that are no longer around. I've got things like Basic Gray and Chatterbox and Jelly Bean Soup and that kind of good stuff. So anyway, some of these embellish embellishments that I'm pulling out are from that collection or that kit, uh, rather just because you know, it's, it's sitting here on my desk and it's handy and the rest of the room is an, an atrocious mess and it's hard to find things. So I, I use what I have on hand. And I think that um, that's pretty much how I work anyway. I use what's, what's easily accessed. So when things start piling and when things aren't put away properly, um, they, then, then my things aren't easily accessed and it's, it's hard for me to use them. So really looking forward to tomorrow, uh, which is Thursday, uh, because it's my day off and um, going to clean up my room here and then I'm going to scrapbook my little heart out. Um, I'm also going to put some layouts and page protectors uh, because, <laughs> fun fact, my October layouts are still sitting in a pile because I went to put them away and realized I had no page protectors and that is a shameful, shameful, dirty little secret that I have. But I ordered them. Um, they are in now, so I am going to spend some time tomorrow putting layouts and page protectors as well. Okay, so as you can see, I moved those stars over. I realized that there were pre-printed stars down below as well. So we just put those down there. I have my title going on. I have the little cork camera going on. I have words. I was thinking about just adding in some of these Love From Lizzie peel-offs just to give little pops of the dark black throughout the layout. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I've already got pops of the dark black, uh, but I figured we could add some more. And I didn't like it. So I just went ahead and peeled those off and didn't even worry about it. Now I am going to uh, show you here what I have. So these little guys that are in my left hand, they're getting thrown away. We're not saving those. But these other guys, the ones that are in my right hand, we'll save those. Those pieces are big enough. So um, I just have the date here. So I'm going to... Um, Put a little journaling down after I do the date it just says hanging out with Lana decided to take a photo of her big beautiful smile and that is 
the only bit of journaling. There isn't a whole lot of, you know, things. It's just I snapped a picture of Lana that day and it was a good day. Um, so <laughs> there it is. I feel like that's what I'm scrapbooking. These like random moments that I take with my phone and Disney because that's really all the photos I have because, you know, this uh, COVID stuff has just tanked all the plans. So it's all the everyday little moment photos and Disney photos right now. <laughs> so that's, that's what we're working with. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me uh, every day as I've been sharing a video every single day since February 1st of this year. And that will continue until the end of February where we started off with Follow a Sketch February. We're going to end with Follow a Sketch February. See you guys again real soon for another video.